think that should be enough. Okay, so, uh, welcome back. Hope you're uh, ready to find out what the heck is going on with all this uh, Terra stuff. So, like I mentioned off screen, or er, last time, uh, I did some off screen stuff. Uh, I ended up doing all of the Chocobo uh, hot and cold stuff, except for uh, going to Chocobo's Paradise. Um, I think I'll save that for later. Uh, I also did some auction stuff. Uh, there's really nothing exciting about that. You just uh, buy certain items and then you can sell them to uh, a few people in Treno for a little extra money. Um, but you need to do that in order to get something else later on. So I went ahead, I went ahead and did that already. Uh, so yeah. Uh, on that note, we're ready to uh, head to the Shimmering Island, now that we've broken the seals and the four elemental shrines. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. So here's the uh, here's the game telling us that this is kind of a point of no return, sort of. Yeah, there it is. Uh, if you go through. Uh, It'll be kind of a while before you can get to the overworld again. Um, so if you have any side quests that you want to check out, now would be the best time to do that. Uh, but I got all that out of the way, so we're going to keep moving forward. And Zidane's got kind of a wild plan. This is pretty flashy, though. Hi, it's Kami. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate you showing up. As you can see, we just jumped through a portal to a strange new world. And now we've got this, uh rather sinister old man. Oh, uh, you work nights too? Uh, I sympathize. Man, 
Man, this old man's like kind of a vague philosopher type. Archaic and twisted, or not twisted, what am I saying? I don't know. Words have meanings and sometimes I forget what they are. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm good with this party for now. Where am I going? Ah, I guess I'm going this way. That's strange. There's a person over there. But there's a pathway here, so I'm going to check that out first, obviously. Because there's some treasure. A coronet. Uh, who gets to have that? Uh... All right, yeah, we'll give that to Zidane. <clears throat> Ooh, Dragon Wrist sounds like it could be something. Something fun. Um, reduce Shadow by 50%. What does this do? Okay, that'll be good for her. Kind of hard to see, but uh, this person seems to have a tail like Zidane. Oh, there it is in a clearer view. So <clears throat> it looks like some mysteries are going to be revealed. Oh, wow. Please excuse the sudden onset of throat problems. Uh, anyway. So she's down there, but I think... Can I go back? No. I thought I could round the corner there, but... Uh, I guess the only thing I could do is... Climb down this strange, mysterious, glowing web. I don't know, personally, I wouldn't be too keen on touching something like that, but, uh, what can you do, I guess, when you're on a strange new world? There's something around that corner, of course. Right. Wow, there's just treasure all over this place. Ooh. 
Looks like we finally found out where Zidane is from. Although we've... Well... I guess there have been some vague hints towards this uh, for a while. There was a time when he told the, the story of trying to find his homeland. He had, uh, well, he had no idea where he was from. The only clue he had was a blue light. And to hear him tell it, he went all over the world and found nothing. And, well, this is uh, kind of why. Because where he's from was not the world we've been exploring this entire time. I want to take care of that virus before I forget. Ooh, don't you love the sound of stacking uh, level up notifications? I know I sure do. Uh, speaking of, if you've been following for kind of a while, you might have noticed I did not actually put on master abilities yet, and there's a reason. Uh, it's because I have pretty much every ability unlocked now. Oh. There are a few exceptions, but... Uh, all the main ones that I want, uh, all the support abilities, the passive ones, are, well, I managed to get them all, or just about all of them. So, no need to put that on. I was uh, kind of busy after the end of the last stream. I think I ended up going another four hours or something. Uh, I like this game a lot. Oh no, this thing knows roulette? I can't believe it. Man. That's rude. Oh well, I guess Zidane doesn't need that much experience. It's fine. There, that should do it. Ooh, Minerva's Plate. That's, uh... I think that sounds like some Freya armor. Oh, it's not even that great. Uh, 
I guess I'll leave it off. Um, unless Aiko can... No, I don't want to put it on Aiko. She's got the white robe. place to which you shall offer yourself is not the kind of thing I want to hear about uh, <clears throat> about what's supposed to be my home but uh, yeah welcome to Bron Ball That looks kind of familiar. Unfortunately for Dagger, it's a, a little too familiar. So in her, uh, in her memories, when her home village was destroyed, she remembered not only was there a big storm, but there was a big red eye above the storm. And uh, it turns out that the red eye is actually from that airship. So uh, seeing it again is kind of a... Uh, I guess uh triggered something within her. Ooh, we get to reconnoiter. Well, there goes Steiner, I guess. Um, then we'll put uh, our good boy Vivi back in. Yeah. Uh, built this way, huh? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I guess it's fine to just stop by here. Man. Imagine having a race of constructs and not teaching them what night means. I mean, they, they have a vague understanding of it, but... Wow. But then again, I guess there doesn't seem to be any natural sunlight around here, so... Alright, that's fine. It's fair. Aw, poor Aiko. <laughs> oh, what a 
question to ask. Wow, Aiko. Manners, please. Also, you're six. Who taught you that? Well, Zidane, you do seem to be a little more irritable now. So the storm was not a natural storm. There's a treasure chest in the background game. Don't make me leave and come back for it. Uh, I guess an elixir isn't special, but it's better than nothing. The blue light becomes red. That is when souls will enter our bodies. That's a foreboding. So these folks ain't got no souls. Cycling of souls. Um, mental atrophy. Okay. Guy is blue, Terra red. I don't know what that has to do with its shape, but okay. So flow of souls. That was probably the way to the uh, underground lab, but there's still more exploration to do. Created by the civilization of Ter <coughs> Terra. Okay. Anyway, I recognize that pom pom. It's a Moogle. How a Moogle got here, I don't know. But he has a shop for us, and that's neat. Um, let's see, do I need anything here? Uh, Defender might be neat to have, uh, but I think I'm good on almost everything else. Yeah, and Beast Rafor could be an upgrade, so I'll take it. I already have one of those. Mm -hmm. Raises Thunder and Holy. 
Uh, one should be done. Well, two. Why not? Platinum Helm. Okay, uh, well, I'll take that boost to speed. Right, I already talked to them. All right, uh, Looks like a lot of what these uh, these people are talking about is just going right over Zidane's head. Anyway. This would be the underground laboratory. So there's the name of, of this race for real. Genomes. I wonder where they got that from. The name of the seed given to all of them. A genome. <laughs> oh, wow, Zidane. Just uh, not holding anything back, huh? Not holding anything back at all. Ah, uh, there it is. Zidane is, in fact, special. Let's go find out who Garland is. Well, we kind of already know. Garland is that old man. So there is that, uh, that place, uh, Oilvert, where there was some historical record of some sort about uh, a people that have been put to some kind of stasis. So now we're getting a little more information about uh, Terra. Terra is a planet that somehow uh, absorbs other planets. And this time their sights are set on Gaia. It's because uh, Terra, for some reason or another, has entered a state of decay. So they needed Gaia to learn how to use Eidolons for some reason. Ah, there we go. So 
So Garland is after the cycle of souls on Gaia. And Terra's people need souls. So... From the looks of it, uh, yeah, Terra's uh, just out to steal Gaia's souls, too, not just the planet or whatever. I guess they're kind of one and the same. Anyway, back at the Aoife tree, there's that uh, monster there, a soul cage, I think was its name. Uh, who talked about how the mist was part of the refining process, a byproduct of the refining process, but he was really vague about what was being refined. Um, then he mentioned something about the dregs of souls. So... That's what the Aoife tree was really about, was kind of preparing the souls for Terra. Right. Uh, meanwhile, let's see what Quinna is up to. And Quinna's out here just licking random rocks. Thanks, Quinna. Well, it looks like uh, Zidane's having kind of a moment Poor Vivi's trying to make a friend. Oh, see, Vivi's so pure. Look at him. He's trying his best. He feels they're similar. Well, he's, uh... He's actually pretty close. Vivi so much. See, he's he's got that clarity that uh, you know that other people around him seem to lack. I guess the clarity that comes from his unique perspective. You know, the perspective of being a self-aware golem. Wow, 
even Amaranth is uh, calling Zidane out for being a little different. Not his usual self. <laughs> oh, Amaranth. Looks like they're uh, yeah. Zidane is definitely not his typical self. All right, Vivi's in the group. Uh, I guess I'll pick up Quina too. Quina's right there. See the truth. The floating castle where souls bide their time. Pandemonium. That's uh, not a foreboding name at all. Zidane. Looks like he's uh looks like he's rather go it alone from here. Mm, yeah, that's probably fine. See, even Amaranth uh, has uh, some amount of concern for Zidane. Even if they were a tad bit antagonistic just a few seconds ago. That's not exactly the whole truth there, but okay, girl. <laughs> Haunted Mansion, just in time for Halloween. Wow. Can't say I was expecting that. Ooh, we've even got the uh, creepy organ music and everything. I love it. Very atmospheric. Very uh, seasonally appropriate. Uh, sent a genome to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls. And uh, yeah, that was Zidane.
there was another Ooh. Oh, he's being vague again. All right, let's go see what the old man has to say now. So 24 years ago, there was another genome that was uh, quite special. Hey, Tia. Uh, welcome. Let's see. What have you missed so far? Well, we're on Terra, and it turns out this is where Zidane is from. Uh, Zidane is also a member of a race called Genomes, who are these uh, artificial constructs. Uh, that are made to serve as vessels for the souls of the people of Terra. Uh, but Zdane is special. He's got a soul. And now we're talking to Garland to find out, uh, well, just what the hell is going on. So now Garland is telling us that uh, there's there was another genome before Zidane that... Uh, that was special, that had a soul, that was sent to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls. That's uh, the big plan, by the way. Terra wants to take control of Gaia's souls and, um, well, seize them for its own so that the people uh, can be revived or something like that. They're all in stasis. Uh, there were some hints to that, uh, some references to that in Oilvert, that place where we couldn't use magic. Uh, so now we're getting more the details of that whole plan. So now it's time to learn who this other genome was. And it's Kuja. There's the reveal. Yeah, Kuja has a tail and he's just keeping it hidden. He's been hiding it this whole time. So, yeah, that actually sounds kind of like Zidane right here, rejecting the meaning of his existence and trying to assert his own individuality. Uh, this is why Kuja has been talking about seizing a greater power. That's why he wanted control of the Eidolans, uh, because he wanted to break free from Garland's schemes. So, uh, yeah, Kuja's whole deal, his mission, was to bring war and chaos to Gaia, which he did pretty well. He's been at it for 24 years. And then 12 years ago, Garland's like, hmm, wait, something's not right here. even though he's saying that things are going exceptionally well. Ah, here it is. 
So, Zdane was actually made to be more powerful than Kuja. In a jealous rage. After Kuja outlived his usefulness, Zidane was supposed to take over. Sort the souls. Uh, disrupt the cycle, drain its souls, fill the void with the souls of Terra. Oh, right, that's what it is. Take the souls of Gaia out of the picture, put Terra's souls in, and then Terra's souls can go through the cycle again. The planet comes back to life. Um, it's very Final Fantasy, I guess. So this is a lot of what they mean when they say that Gaia becomes Terra. Is the souls replace Gaia's souls, and then the people of Terra just kind of live on Gaia. Oh, there it is. That's right, I was just about to say that I was talking about the Aoife tree earlier. How it was, uh, how they meant, the boss there mentioned that the mist was a byproduct of the refining process. Well, this is the process. It was, uh, sorting out the souls of, uh, of Gaia. That's what was being refined. So mist is people souls. The think they made airships that ran on it. And of course, uh, just because we got rid of the mist doesn't mean we really stopped anything. Radiance of Gaia and Terra. Alright, so I guess it's hard to see from here. I mean, you can kind of see that red light kind of just to the left of center at the top. Uh, but that light is supposed to be the light of, uh, well, the core of the planet, the, cri the crystal, as a matter of fact. Yeah, there it is. Just because we stopped the, uh, the disposal of the byproduct doesn't mean the whole process is actually stopped. Yeah, so Kuja was not ever going to be immortal or anything like that. Dane, he's uh, being all defiant. You 
know, it's kind of funny, though. Here is a Dane. He's gone on this uh, big old adventure trying to chase down Kuja and kick his ass. And then he comes to his home town where he learns that the meaning of his existence is kind of to kick Kuja's ass. And now he's all rebellious and defiant. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing or anything. I respect that he loves his, uh, his friends and his family. The people he considers his family. Garland's actually pulling out this card. I guess his Dane just uh, raged himself into a nap. See that music means yep. Uh, speaking of Kuja, there he is, the man himself. Kuja just wants to kick everyone's ass. Well, I, for one, dare him to try. Oh, but wait, this is actually one of my favorite sequences coming up. Dane's gone through uh, something of a mind wipe, but uh, it wasn't entirely complete. Wow, mendicant. There's a $10 word. Sounds right. Zidane, what do you. How do you even know what a mendicant is? I don't. I have to look it up. Oh, a beggar. Uh, okay. So somehow... It looks like uh, everyone's reaching out to Zidane. Their hearts are reaching out to him. Well, not just their hearts, their actual voices, too. Went off 
off all alone, which sounds like the perfect time to bring up uh, the name of this track, which is seriously one of my favorites out of the whole game. Uh, and that name is You're Not Alone. Dane, I need you to stop. Yeah, see. Zidane, I really need you to stop. He says there are things kids can't understand, but, you know, Vivi has shown a penchant for understanding an awful lot. Bio. That's gross. Don't do that. All of Zidane's friends are here to uh, talk some sense into him. Well, they'll all be here in time, I should say. Even Amaranth is like, Zidane, please. Uh, let's throw one of these wing edges. I have a lot of those. Oh, that was plenty of damage. Okay. Thanks, Amaranth. Yeah, don't go alone, Zidane. You're not alone. Yeah, right? Exactly, Tia. Oh, there's a big fella. All right. What can I do to this thing? Ooh, uh, let's try a little white wind. That sure wasn't very effective. Please don't do another Thundaga. Uh, oh boy. Alright. 
Okay, we hit the script point. It's probably not super important to keep Quinn out alive. But, uh... You never know. Honestly, I forgot if I still have uh, the healer skill on Quina, and I'm afraid to find out. Oh, no matter. Wow, Steiner just coming right out and saying it. He secretly thinks Zedane should marry Dagger. Bunch of bastards. Zedane, you need the babysitting right now. You're the one throwing a tantrum. It's time for the biggest one of all. That was uh, one heck of a growl there. Well, since it happened, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to say that if I were the one making the decisions around here, I would not give Zidane a transmitter here for this little section. Because his emotions are clearly out of whack. I mean, if they can do it to Dagger, they can do it to Zidane. Just saying. Uh, but that's not ideal. Oh, hey, speaking of Dagger... Let's bust out some uh, Solution 9, I think. You know what, Tia? That's a fair point. I mean, I think you could argue it either way. And uh, I will gladly accept your argument.
up and let's see. That's why you always what, Zidane? Oh, looks like Zidane still has a lot to learn himself. Seriously, if they didn't believe in Zidane, well, first of all, they wouldn't all be here right now. But, uh, well, that actually about sums it up. They wouldn't have followed him on this journey. Is good manners. Thank you, Quina. I don't think Zidane needs a frog, though. Well, even Steiner, who... It feels like it wasn't that long ago that Steiner was... Uh, yelling about how he's a thief and a kidnapper and he should hang but he'll be nice and try to lobby for him to get a life sentence in prison now here he's calling him a comrade in arms saying he'll follow him to hell and back which uh well he kind of has if you think about it Yeah, Steiner is okay sometimes. He it just... One of my little critiques about Steiner is that it just takes him so long for him to come around. Like, this is a four-disc game. Right now, if we were playing on the PlayStation, this would be pretty much the end of the third disc. All right, so obviously we have to go back to get the rest of our friends that we so callously left behind. But yeah, the, I'm glad that Zidane's got it all figured out now that everyone has yelled at him. So let's see, what was our party? Oh yeah, I kind of wanted Steiner and Aiko in there for the levels. Um, and I guess Amaranth for now. Oh, now we can switch party members at Moogles. Or at this Moogle, anyway. Um, is there anything else fun that I can buy? He says fire. I don't think I have fire for him. Uh, well, just for fun, we'll give him the circlet. That magic defense boost is pretty big. Um, oh, yeah. 
Okay. But we can go back one screen more. There's a hidden treasure at the throne. Ah, a holy mitre. Who can equip that? I forget. Well, Echo can, but uh, oh, that's actually a pretty decent upgrade. I didn't give it enough credit. Got some points to spend, too. Oh, by the way, I finally found out what Gamble Defense does. Uh, here it says raises defense occasionally. It turns out that sometimes uh, what it does is it kind of randomizes your defense a little bit. Uh, so sometimes, so it'll be just a random value between zero and double. So, um... Never using that again. Uh, what else do I have here that could be fun? Um, oh, I picked up Master Thief a while ago, too. Uh, steal better items. It raises the success rate of getting the good items from bosses. So, hopefully that helps out in future battles. Oops, keep that accuracy on. Uh, Devil Killer is probably a good idea here. And I'm feeling a little Bug Killer, too. Is everyone's health status uh, good enough? Okay. Uh, let's press this button. This does something, but I don't remember what the deal is. I think you want to not touch the lights? Oh, yeah. You touch the lights, and then I think it triggers a battle, and then you can't cross that bridge, because it won't be there. Uh, oh, boy. There's a platform to move. So it's at altitude one. Uh, we want it to go, I guess, point up and to the right, whichever one that is. All right, this is really annoying. Um, I don't know how this logic works here. Standard heading one sets it to zero. All right, two is good. Um, zero sets it to five. All right, uh, okay, this is what we want though. I'm pretty sure. So, not that. On 
honestly, it gets kind of confusing. But uh, I guess I made it work for 20,007 gil. Okay. Had a little accident there. No worries. I think what I want to do is make sure it, uh, I think now I want it to point to the bottom right. I guess the, uh, oh, there we go. Now I understand the logic. Uh, the current altitude will offset the heading. So I think if I set it to four now, yeah, and then if I yeah, see now the standard heading thing and the current heading are lining up properly. Okay. So it looks like every time you go up one, it subtracts by one. Now it's time for the teleporter maze. I hope you're ready. Uh, if you're not, that's okay. Because I'm not ready either. But you can get kind of an idea of where you're going to go. Because it just takes you up and down. So I think I just accidentally found my way through. Oh, right. If you try to use Mognet here, the Moogle's like, uh, what's that? Because they're technically on a different world that doesn't have Mognet. Anyway, just because I found the path through doesn't mean I'm going to leave already. Not when there are a couple of tasty looking treasure chests sitting right there. Well, would you look at that? It's a reason to use my bug killer. Fire's fly. Quit doing virus. That's gross. Oh, darn. Oh, she got cured of it anyway? Okay. Um, that's fine. Uh, that, sure. Just remembered, I got a... Oh, I didn't get the sword for Steiner. Oh well, it's fine. So, battle beats. I'm pretty sure I should have had those before, but I don't remember. Oh, I guess not. Uh, hmm. Uh, oh, the 
they're all right, but they're not worth putting on. Oh hey, it's another famous uh, Final Fantasy enemy, the Marlboro, Marlboro, excuse me, not the cigarette company, but, uh, well, their signature attack might as well be in the same vein. Uh, I've got to revive Aiko. And here it comes. Sooner or later. All right, uh, Amaranth has a revive spell. Excellent. I'm just glad we didn't get to see the Malboro's bad breath attack. Levels for everyone. Ringing in my ears. Uh, let's see. This is... That's the way out. Uh, wait a second. There aren't that many paths then. Perhaps I'm underestimating. Mm. Potions for everyone. Well, now I'm just completely flummoxed. How do I get to these other locations? going to poke around for another minute or so, and if I can't see anything at all, then I'll get moving. I just don't see where I could go. I mean, if I go through here, it'll just take me down. And now I'm back to where I started. just leads to the one treasure chest. Well, I don't know what I did. So I guess I'll just go ahead. getting all philosophical or whatever. Life and death become one. Oh. Oh. 
whatever garland. Wow, even Steiner can uh, can pick up a few things. He alone can answer the question of who he is. So I think we've got a, a bit of a boss gauntlet going on here. But it's fine. I'm ready. See, I got an elixir out of it. Uh, hey. Atta boy, Steiner. Uh, let's give this thing a curse. <laughs> yes, exactly. He will knock us all down. Echo's uh, gone into trance. I think we've seen it before, but uh, since she's primarily a white mage, uh, she gets double white magic. Oh, that is so good. Let's use this double white magic right away in the best way possible. go that's the good stuff oh so good I could not have asked for a better curse from Amaranth Zidane, I think, is uh, turning the questions, uh, the existential questions, back on Garland now. Alright, now it's serious time. You can tell because the music is different. It's the regular boss music. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get a Kiraga off real quick. Oh, that was very, very quick. Okay. Good as new. Oh, don't you do it. Ah, uh, see, that's why I have locomotion on. Uh, Dark Gear is good. Let's do a little shock. That was uh, one of Beatrix's moves. Oh, Flare. That's the bad kind of Flare. Ooh, that was powerful. Good and potent. And Ninja Gear, excellent. Uh, 
Oh, um, okay. This is fine. Well, it really is fine. I'm not too worried. I'll... Hmm. Hmm. I'll do a full life just to be safe. Dane can heal himself. Uh, oh, regen's not a skill you can cast on everyone. Uh, which I guess makes sense, but, uh, ooh, might. Let's. Oh. One of the problems I have with this controller is that sometimes I end up uh, double tapping buttons without trying. Um, Aiko is not the one who could use a little might right now. Oh boy, uh, let's do Kiraga then. Right. All the skills that I want to work will work. That's annoying. Let's try Might again for real, but this time on Zidane. Oh good, that regen came in super handy. Why, it's almost as if I have some kind of inkling of what I'm doing here. Ha, take that, Garland. Now it is you, the one who is knocked down. I'll pretend I said that a little better. Um, red aura, this is a little weird. Ah, that's not just an aura. It's not really an aura at all. I think that was more of a targeting laser. I thought it was a targeting laser, but I uh, guess I was mistaken. Now Kooch is really uh, laying in heavily on this uh, Zidane and Kuja are brothers thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, um... Agreed. I think that's about all I have to say about that. Demi? I think not. Oh, I want to give Steiner a little MP back before I forget. Not taking the way Kuja just laughed off that attack, uh, in literal terms. Well, let's see if Magic Break works. Sure would be nice if I could debuff an enemy for once. I guess I got spoiled by uh, all the good luck stealing from Garland, because I thought I would get more than, what was it, like an ether or something? Phoenix down? Well, he asked for power, so let's give him a taste of our power. I think he's in for quite the shock. What does Jewel do? That sounds boring.
much to his health is he? Okay, there we go. I was starting to get worried for a moment. Oh, wait. Uh, the light's just dimmed. So, uh, by the way, It uh, turns out that trance is not uh, exclusive to the player party. Mog went into trance and revealed herself to be Madine. Um, well, Kuja got an idea. gross oh uh, the fact that Kuja said the soul of your mother there um, I think they expected me to have dagger for this battle uh, oops oh well Well, it's Kuja who's doing the knocking down now. Oh, Kuja, please stop. accept this reference to you. Thank you. Ooh, Garland's dropping the uh, reveal on him. Looks like uh, Kuja didn't realize that he has a limited lifespan. hitting him right in the uh, right in the ego well of course Garland isn't responding anymore because well he's dead gee Kuja I wonder who did that Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Uh, 
let's see, uh, how's that line go? Uh, Something about uh, Ozymandias seems appropriate right now. You know, I said Zidane was throwing a tantrum earlier, but uh, this is the real tantrum, I think. This music seems to suggest there is an escape sequence. Uh, is it timed? I don't... I guess not. Okay. Although, I should double check her equipment. Hmm. Ninja gear. I'm going to remember that. Don't let me forget about the ninja gear. It has a special use. Ooh. I don't like that at all. But Dagger has no time for uh, being scared, I guess. Zidane, is this really the time? Well, I guess it's always a good time to say thanks or whatever. Oh, Quinn is bringing up the rear. Quinn, don't eat the eyeball, please. Quinn just said something about no good food, so it's fine. Uh, all right.
Quinn had discovered a, some good information. You can just teleport into the ship. All right, now is not the time to be all nihilist. Ooh, so this girl is gonna replace Zidane. There's the life story, or there's the uh, life lesson for you there. The meaning of life is to uh, to try to make meaning on your own. It's to seek out the answers, not the answer itself. It's about the journey, not the destination. Uh, Nikoto. Well, so much for Terra. Yeah, the, well, the game itself is pretty quiet right now, so I think that's working as intended. I didn't change any settings, so I hope I don't have to change anything around. Right now, there should only be like kind of a not terribly faint, but kind of faint humming. Surprise. All right, now Mist has covered the entire planet. And like I said, just because they stopped uh, producing it, or stopped the disposal of it, doesn't mean the whole process stopped. And 
by the way, since I've been mentioning the disc transitions thus far, uh, the transition from the bridge of the Invincible to this scene right here, uh, that would be the point between uh, discs three and four. See, Vivi had a good idea. Bring the genomes to the Black Mage Village, because they're similar in origin. Chocobo, it's Bobby Corwin. Oh, is this the first time they finally revealed his name? I love Bobby Corwin. It's a good name. And I love that the black mage, I love that uh, number 33 here just keeps calling Bobby Corwin by his full name. How can you do anything else? Aiko just doesn't understand. just can't get away from these games where people don't know what money is. You really do have to say the whole thing every time. It's incredibly important. Um, I've seen some people float the uh, idea that Bobby Corwin is actually kind of, sort of, maybe a reference to Final Fantasy V, because uh, the main character, Bartz, had a chocobo companion named uh, Boko. So... Bobby Corwin, take the first syllables, Bo, Co, Boco. And since this whole game is just rife with references to the earlier games of the series, I choose to accept that theory. This is where we're at. The don't cause a global panic phase. As if the sudden reappearance of mist across the entire world wasn't reason to enough to panic. Wow, Makoto, way to be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> wow. 
while it's a Dane. I will, uh, uh, Steiner, that's, uh, is that the time to bring up that phrase? I, yeah, I don't think so either. All right, uh, let's throw together our party real quick. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised at how low all my levels are, but uh, it's been fine so far, and it will continue to be fine. Uh, all right, so now we've got a new airship. It's the Invincible. Um, let's see here. I think it still follows all the rules of the other airship. So it's more of a cosmetic change, but, uh, I want this treasure. We've got Pisces. So, uh, let's see. So yeah, this is officially the end game. Um, but there are couple of things I want to do. Well, at least one thing. Uh, I want to go to Treno. Uh, because I finally just found the uh, 12th Stellatio coin. So I want to turn that in. Uh, it's, you know, just real quick. Oh, something I should show off. Uh, part of the end game is that, uh, well, remember how the roots of the Aoife tree distributed the mist? So uh, roots have sprung up all over the place and have blocked off certain areas. Um, so if you had, it, that's why, if you had any side quests you wanted to do, you should have done it before going to Terra, uh, which I did. So. We're all good there. Oh, and speaking of Salatio, uh, I can't imagine anyone was actually keeping track because it, the quest takes the entire game. But there was one coin that I missed that I got off screen. It was the Leo coin. And I got that, uh, let's see, that was actually in Alexandria. There's a statue that'll take you to a harbor, and hiding in the corner of the room is the coin. Uh, but Queen Stella thinks that uh, there might be a coin missing. That's right, there's actually a 13th coin. So, for the moment, we've been given all of them back. They're conveniently arranged in order for us, so... Uh, Let's take a look. The story of the 12 Zodiacs. How best to catch Virgo's heart. Ares headed east. Taurus had an idea. He would give Virgo a gift. Uh, Gemini thought uh, I'll sing her a song. Didn't know where, but hoped it would reach her. Uh, Cancer headed to the Cape where Virgo waited. Sun was setting in the ocean. Leo was waiting for the sun to set in the ocean, and Cancer showed up, and they began to fight. Uh, into the ocean they fell. Oh, hey, how about that? Cancer we found in uh, Bermesia, and Leo was in Alexandria. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, they fought, and... Well, they both fell. Virgo whispered, my only wishes to be with you. 
Weaver was a perverse fellow. Wow. Alright, Scorpio. Uh, these clues aren't super helpful. Aquarius arrived late. He asked everyone who kissed Virgo. Pisces said, Virgo made her choice. Go see him and he'll tell you the rest. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is the best clue that I've got. Always looked at his shadow until one day he decided to look away. Um... I already know the answer, uh, so no need to uh, worry about me trying to suss this out. And depending on how well you know your uh, constellations or whatever, you might know the answer too. I know it was kind of a thing a couple years ago. And I think it comes up every now and then, the talk of uh, a 13th zodiac sign. So depending on how well you know about that, uh, the answer may be, may come to you easily. Uh, hold on, there it is. So this is the spot where we found uh, Scorpio. It's Ophiuchus. Let's see what Ophiuchus has to say. The future was uncertain, but Scorpio and Virgo kissed in the light of dusk. That moment meant everything. So let me just double check here. Uh, so Aries, Taurus, no, Gemini. They didn't really do anything. Cancer and Ligo kind of took each other out. Virgo's at the Cape. Uh, Weaver just went the wrong way. Uh, Virgo's, Virgo's just said, my only wish is to be with you now, so, um, not super helpful, I don't think. So Scorpio walked up a hill, Sagittarius dashed through the night, uh, well, Capricorn fell asleep along the way, okay. Aquarius was late, Pisces, Pisces knows. And I guess Ophiuchus just was witness to it all or something. I don't know. Anyway. Time to go uh, turn it in, I think. There's a very special prize waiting for us. Uh, oh, right. Uh, anyway, so if you remember hearing about how there's been this 13th zodiac sign, um, it has something to do with... Uh, well, the position of the constellations, there's, uh, like, just near where Scorpio is, there's the constellation of Phaeacus. Or something like that. Uh, and of is only, uh, you know, the dominant sign or whatever for, like, two weeks or whatever. But uh, no one really pays attention to that anyway. 
All right, so now we got to give all this Delazio back, and this is going to take a quick second. So let's. Uh, well, it's not that long. Uh, hammer. Let's see here. Let's arrange it and let's see where it pops up in our inventory. Oh, it's supposed to be. I must have missed it. Oh, there it is. It's not just any hammer, it's Senna's hammer. That's right, the hammer that he said that uh, he would never let anyone touch. We have it now. It is a very special prize. Uh, let's see. Well, with that done, I think that's going to be it for today, really. Because uh, the way I blocked it out, uh, tomorrow is going to be the finale. And, uh, well, now that we're at the end game, there's really just one dungeon left. So, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for today. Wow, can you believe it? Such a short stream. Time flew by just like that. Uh, but uh, just for good measure, I guess I'll pilot my way over there. Uh, Aoife Tree was this way? Or where was it this way? Can't quite remember. I just know it's on the continent. Um, all this mist is making it hard to see. Who could have imagined? Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that dark and foreboding sky and everything. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I want to land somewhere. That looks like a good spot. So we'll save with our good old friend Moglo here. And, uh, yeah, I would like to thank everyone who came out today. Uh, really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll be back at it again tomorrow, like I said. I'll try to start at around the same time. And then uh, we'll be finishing up Final Fantasy IX. Can you believe it? The time is flying by. Uh, so, thank you again. Uh, let's see here. What can I do to send this stream off? Uh, I think what I'm going to do, because normally I just end the stream, why don't I do a little raid? Let's see if I can even do it from uh, here. All right, there we go. We're going to say hi to Max and Chachi because, uh, well, I always like following them. They like to uh, pop into my stream every now and then, so it's only fair. Uh, thank you again, like I said, and I uh, look forward to seeing you all next time. All right, everyone, uh, have a good day.